Third, Jesus is the one that intercedes for all of us and will do it forever. Romans 8, 34, I'm going to read the second part. It is Christ who died, and furthermore, he is also risen, who is even at the right hand of God, who also makes intercession for us. That's the teaching of the Bible. Hebrews 7, 25 says, Therefore, Jesus Christ is also able to save to the uttermost those who come to God through him, since he always lives to make intercession for them. I'm going to say something disturbing for some people, and I apologize ahead of hand if I disturb you, and I hope I do. The Virgin Mary interceding for us is not a teaching from the Bible. And I'm going to repeat it. The, the belief that Mary is making intercession for people is not a teaching from the Bible. It's a fable. And believe it or not, it's not from human beings. It's not a story that came from people. It's a story, it's a lie from the devil. And I rebuke that lie in the name of Jesus Christ this very moment. I rebuke Satan for planting those lies in the minds of people. In the name of Jesus Christ. It is a lie that denies the work of Jesus Christ in heaven after his resurrection. Mm -hmm. There are many more scriptures that say that Jesus Christ is the mediator, the intercessor, and nowhere in the Bible there is a teaching that Mary is doing that work. So that's why I rebuke it in the name of Jesus Christ, and I hope my brother, my sister, if I have disturbed you, go to your Bibles, go to your spiritual leaders and find out where that teaching comes from. That's not from the Bible and that was not taught during the three first hundred years of the Christian church. That happened with the Romanization of the church. And if you want to know what it means, do your research. Do the investigation yourself. 